Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to simplify the following algebraic expressions. Simplifying algebraic expressions means writing the expression in the most basic way possible by eliminating parentheses and also combining like terms. In the first example, I have 3x minus 2. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concept. I have that multiplying x squared plus 1 minus 2. In this case, I'm going to get rid of my parentheses and then collect like terms. So what this means is all the terms in the first bracket is going to multiply all the terms in the second bracket or what we call foiling. Therefore, I have 3x times x squared, 3x squared times x, that's 3x cubed, not loss of exponent. Then I have plus 3x, that's 3x times 1. Also note your signs. Then I have negative 2 times x squared, that's minus 2x squared. Then I have negative 2 times 1, minus 2. Then I have the last minus 2 outside the bracket. And if I collect like terms, not that, negative 2 and negative 2 are constant. Arranging in descending powers of x, I have 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus 3x. Then I'm left with minus 2 minus 2, that's minus 4. In the next example, I have that's exponential form in brackets 2 to the power of 2 times 3 to the power of x plus 1 all divided by 2 to the power of 2x times 3 to the power of x. The first step is to apply the laws of exponents, that's power to power, which states that if I have a number or a variable raised to a power and I raise to another power, power to power, it's going to be a x times y, you multiply the powers which is the same as a to the power of x, y. In this example, the power outside is my x plus 1, which is multi multiply all the powers inside. So I have 2 to the power of 2 times x plus 1 times 3. There's an invisible power of 1 for any old number or any variable that does not have any power. I have 1 times x plus 1. I still have my denominator, which is 2 to the power of 2x times 3 to the power of x. If I expand my bracket, 2 to the power of, I have 2 times x, 2x, plus 2 times 1, 2, times 3 to the power of 1, multiplying the content of the brackets, that stays the same, x plus 1, divided by 2 to the power of 2x times 3 to the power of x. The next step is, because I have my base in 2s, and then I have in 3s, I'm going to merge them. If I divide, then I subtract the powers. The power at the top subtracts the power at the bottom. So starting with my 2, it's going to be the guy at the top is 2x plus 2 minus the power at the bottom, 2x. Then I go to my 3. I have x plus 1 at the top minus x at the bottom. If I simplify further, I have 2x minus 2x, that's 0. Then I have x minus x, that's 0. So this becomes 2 to the power of, I'm left with, 2 times 3 to the power of 1. If I simplify further, 2 to the power of 2, that's 2 times 2, which is 4 times 3. And my final answer will be... 12. Let's look at the last example. I have the last one. x squared minus 1 divided by 3 times 1 over x minus 1 minus 1 over 2. I have mixed functions there. I have multiplication and minus. Using my board mass, I'm going to start with the multiplication part and then I subtract 1 over 2. 
Starting with the multiplication part, if I have algebraic fractions, the first step is to simplify or by factorizing each of the terms. So on my left hand side, I'm going to have in bracket x squared minus 1. This is the same as x squared minus 1 squared. 1 squared remains 1. And using the difference of 2 squares, which states that if I have a squared minus b squared, that's the same as a plus b multiplying a minus b when factorized. So I'm going to factorize that. That will be x squared minus 1 squared x plus 1 multiplying x minus 1 divided by 3 times 1 over x minus 1. Whatever answer I have here, I'm going to minus mine off outside. Simplifying the content of the bracket, I have x minus 1 dividing x minus 1. That's 1. I'm left with x plus 1 times 1. I have x plus 1 over 3 times 1, 3 minus 1 over 2. The next step is, because I have two fractions, in order to add or subtract the fraction, I need to make sure that my denominators are the same. In this case, my LCD, or lowest common denominator, will be 3. Will be 6, I'm going to correct that. So therefore, on my left-hand side, to make the denominator 6, I'm going to multiply by 2. And whatever you do at the top, you do at the bottom. On my right hand side, to make the denominator 6, I multiply by 3. And whatever you do on top, you do at the bottom. So my expression becomes 2x plus 2. The 2 multiplies all the contents of the brackets over 2 times 3, 6, minus 3 over 6. And once the denominators are the same, I can place them under the same denominator, which is 6. Then at the top, I have 2x plus 2 minus 3. Therefore, my final answer will be 2x plus 2 minus 3. That's minus 1 all over 6. Thanks for watching. Bye.